Hey FossTube, it's Megan, Georgia Girl Stitching. Um, back for another FossTube and I have a special guest with me again today. I'm David mm -hmm. or Southern Dude Knits on Knitted uh, okay, in Ravelry. Yes. Um, I know I crochet, I know it's not knitting, so please yes. don't come at me. <laughs> yes. He's the crocheter of the family right now. Mm -hmm. We're back for another video. It's been <clears throat> a little over a month now since I've been back, mm -hmm. and it's been a few months since you've been on. So we um, have quite a bit to share. Yeah. Uh, over the last month, I was away on a rotation. I was just coming back for basically Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, it was about two hours away. Just coming for the weekends uh, that were filled with things each time. Um, fun things. So I'm home. We had your mom up for her birthday. We had a big, yep. you know, thing Which with her. Which was a smashing success. Yeah, that went really well. And then um, we visited Cape Charles on just like a random adventure. Also a smashing um, success. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Highly recommend Cape Charles mm -hmm. uh, in Virginia. And then you ran a half marathon yesterday. Yeah. So he's still so remembering. The, <laughs> so the theme of this episode is we're both on the hot mess express. Yeah, it's been a lot, <laughs> but it's been a lot of fun. Um, yesterday, yeah, you smashed your goal as well. Yeah, I had a your... specific time goal for the half marathon and I beat it by it. five minutes and I didn't yeah. stop at all. It was, um, it was actually a lot more enjoyable than I was yeah. anticipating, and I hate running. So for all of you out there who also hate running, <laughs> you can do it, because yes. I hate running too. He did it, yeah. He's, you've been training, what, since July for it? Yeah, so I went from... He hates running, so... Yeah, I went from running, like, two miles comfortably to being able to do a half 13. marathon in Which is what, 13 point... 13.1. 13.1, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, and now you're not going to run again for a really long time. Yeah. Yeah. And by a really long time, we mean for a couple days. Yeah, so. he's to back to it. So he's uh, leaving for dive school here in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's been training for that, like getting his physical. But you have to run in dive school, and he hates running. Yeah. So he found a way to force himself to run. Yeah, I had to find an event <laughs> Just to put train for. financial incentive into it by signing up for a marathon. Yeah. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> So yeah, so that's been a lot of fun, but that's kind of been it. We have some fun plans for the rest of the year, but over the last, I think it's been 36 days since I filmed, uh, it was me gone during the week and then fun things on the weekends. And Kaya is playing with Tank. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you might hear them in the background. I Normally he's uh, wrangling them while I film, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll jump into it because we have, I have, um, five projects, some plans, and then he has a project to share with you as well. So we'll start with that, our little collaboration. Yeah. Um, I finished uh, the birth sampler that I was working on. This is, it's from Etsy, and it's one of those that like, it has a ton of names uh, for the Etsy title, but I'm calling it the Dino Birth Sampler. And this is where we finished it. I'm covering his name for... One second. <laughs> okay. We had to secure the obnoxious dog the toy. Squeaky one. Yeah. So as I was saying, this is the, I'm calling it Levi, Levi's Dino Sampler. Um, this is on 40 Count Mystic Owl from Color and Cotton. And I had so much fun stitching this. The I changed the colors completely to match um, kind of what their nursery is going to look like. I didn't put any, he, the kid has not been born yet. So I haven't put, I didn't put any of their, um, his like details on it. They didn't really want that either. They just wanted something to put like in the nursery. So this is where we finished. And I did buy a frame for it. So this is what it will go in. It's off of Amazon. I'll link it down below if, you, if you're interested in it. Um, so I got to figure out how to frame because I don't have time to have it professionally done. So New skills. that's kind of the idea that it will go in. Um, and yeah, so the... Uh, baby shower is in December and yeah. so we'll be traveling for that early December so I need to have it done in the next like couple weeks so yeah so, I yeah. think it came out really good we worked yeah. with uh our friends yeah. and uh little baby Levi is essentially gonna be our first nephew yeah basically. because these yeah. people are like are really basically. fam yeah. functionally family to us so yeah David was his best man and he was David's best man yeah um, so um 
And so we worked with them on the colors and mm -hmm. like what they want to kind of be like the predominant colors and everything. And their and theme I, is dinosaurs. Yeah. So that was the big thing. And so along with that, Dinosaurs. Oh yeah, David basically determined their theme because they're indecisive. David yeah. wanted dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so along with that, David, I uh, am making a baby blanket for baby Levi, and it is the dinosaur granny square blanket on Ravelry by I'll link it down below. Maria's Blue Crayon, um, and it is. I'll show the granny square. Here, hold on first. This is what it'll look like. Yeah. This is the final. This is. Not the colors, but that's the scheme, mm -hmm. okay? And then this and then is what he's done. This is the granny squares, which is uh, done with a magic circle and then double crochets for seven rounds. Uh, they're all about seven inches wide and long. And the colors are so pretty. Yeah, and the colors, and we, Meg and I worked together to match the colors so the yep so we worked he, we went to hobby lobby and he picked out the yarn we picked out the yarn and then took it to the dmc and matched the dmc yeah. <laughs> but the piece de la resistance <laughs> are the actual little dinos <laughs> so that so, matches this one so a red and blue t-rex a green and blue stegosaurus mine's white but it's fine a Yellow and red triceratops. Down there. And then, and then a blue and brontosaurus. green brontosaurus. And so I will sew the dinosaur appliques onto the gray squares. And it'll be it's kind so of, cute. And it's going to be uh, checkerboarded. So, yes. um, yeah, so this was. This has kind of been my biggest yeah. uh, project it's so, so far. Uh, it's been a ton of fun between this and the, I think on one of the previous episodes, I showed the blanket I was working mm -hmm. on for myself. Yeah. Between that project and this project, I've learned a ton about crochet, about making appliques and um, different designs within mm -hmm. patterns. Yeah. And I've even been able, I've been able to take some of these skills from this pattern and the other pattern and just kind of freestyle crochet some smaller stuff for friends and family uh, as gifts. Um, it's been yeah, a lot of fun. It's been awesome. And this is our <clears throat> this is our first collaboration. Yeah, it is. We so, went from zero to hundred very quickly <laughs> on the collaborative um, stitching. So for the pattern, the things that have changed were the colors and then mm -hmm. the amount of dinosaurs. So he switched T Rexes and the Triceratops. In the pattern, there's yeah. three Triceratops. And he made it so that it's the T Rexes that are yeah. the main one. So, in yeah. case you look at that pattern, and then he obviously changed. We we figured out what color in order to match the cross stitch and everything. We rearranged the colors and stuff. Megan rearranged the colors. I rearranged and the colors. Played a very torturous game of Sudoku with colors. <laughs> it really was to make between, sure it was like it, there was no because, repeating colors. Yeah, because there can't be repeating colors between the blocks and the dinosaurs in a row yeah. or a column. So it really was. It was a, like Sudoku. It was a Sudoku <laughs> puzzle to get that yeah. completely figured out. It was um, fun though. It was. Fun. Yeah, it was fun. Um, the original. Uh, bat main color is white. I switched it to gray because they like more gray tones and also That's for- why I chose a gray. Yeah, okay. and also for the uh, the pattern, the original pattern is really great, but we wanted to make it a little more masculine as mm -hmm. well for baby Levi. So the yeah. colors are a little earthier, a little darker, uh, and we went with the gray. A more and, primary, you know, for yeah. the baby. And uh, I'm stitching it on Yarn B from Hobby Lobby Soft and Sleek Low Pill Fiber mm -hmm. uh, with a uh, six millimeter crochet hook. And then the appliques, uh, it's the same weighted yarn, but with four millimeter. Ooh. That's almost <laughs> bad. <laughs> but we almost lost coffee, which would have been Onto my catastrophic uh, for many reasons. Kaya. Um, but uh, it's. Uh, the appliques is four millimeter hooks on the same weighted yarn and three millimeter hooks for the details, uh, which has also given me a lot of practice on stitching like chunkier yeah. yarn with smaller hooks to get more detail and closer gauges. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. It's been a ton of fun. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. It's been fun. Yeah. And so and again, he has to have that done by the baby shower of early December. Yeah, so we're gonna and, put it all together now. Yeah, and because, and because of this, like I said, I've been able to work on other stuff. And so like I'm yeah. working on 
a scarf for another friend. He's a big uh, NFL fan. Um, yeah. I think his wife watches your videos, so I'll save the details <laughs> in case he overhears. But um, it's a lot, but because of this and the other uh, blanket, I'm able to put together some like really nice detailed yeah. patterns like just from off awesome. the dome now. Yeah, yeah. I've learned a lot. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Okay, I need to blow my nose and she needs to go out. So we'll be back in a second. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, hopefully. Hot mess express. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry to not feel well. He's like recovering from marathon. She's needy mess. Tank's just tank. Tank's the only one who's <laughs> he's the only acting one who's, appropriately. Yeah, who's okay. So sorry, y'all. Um, okay. So yeah, so those are the dinos. That's our collaboration. Mm -hmm. We'll. Um, I don't think we're. I'm gonna be back for a video before the. Um, or at least not a full video before the baby shower. So I'll have yeah. pictures of everything um, framed and whatnot for the next video mm -hmm. if it doesn't happen in time. So yeah, we talked about maybe doing some shorter stuff before I leave yes. as well. Yeah, so mm -hmm. hopefully you'll be able to see it again, but or at least you'll see it again in this picture. But okay, and then that's pretty much everything you can show um, for crocheting. So yeah. now it's just be my emotional support husband. Yeah. Um, as I well trained <laughs> um okay so i have a couple starts i have a couple whips that was my only finish um new start one of my new starts is also a new design of mine and i'll put a picture in here this is beach quaker that i designed a couple of weeks ago and i'm set and obsessed with <laughs> Um, I'm stitching this on 40 count aqua and this is sort of how far i've gotten Oh my gosh, it's just so much fun. It's brighter. Let's see if I can pull it back. Yeah, that's a little bit better for the colors. Um, oh no, this is an aqua. This is 40 count wave pool. 40 count wave pool from Color and Cotton. The next one's aqua. This is wave pool from Color and Cotton. And I just, I just love these colors. They, um, I went ahead and tried to like see how they would all play together. So I kind of just started bringing it down. On 40 count, this will be a four and a half inch square or circle, Lord, circle all the way around. <laughs> um, the colors are brighter than that. It's kind of getting it darker, but um, <laughs> now why I say sort of, because this, I am off by one stitch. So all of this has to come out. The H, it's because I messed up with the H, it is one stitch too narrow. And then I counted all of this off of the H. <laughs> So that's all gonna have to come out, but I kept it in for the video so you can kind of see what the color looks like. Um, and then it'll come out and be restitched. So it's kind of going in timeout for a little bit right now, but. Yeah, that, um, that was inspired. Megan was inspired to do this piece by a couple things that we have around the home. Yeah, we have um, one and more. she, that aren't cross stitch actually yeah and so <laughs> we do have things that aren't cross stitch yeah, in our home. but some uh but some like other artwork that we have around the home and yeah uh and then made it cross stitch yeah and, um, so i'm having a lot of fun with this it'll be uh, you know i've always wanted to do something quaker but i didn't really know how, like the best way to go about it and so i combined like all, all my favorite things and so this also gives me some inspiration for like other things too, mm -hmm. you know, like maybe a lighthouse in there, maybe being a little bit of a series of different colors or something. Maybe. So, I don't know. I haven't designed that yet. It's just an idea. So. Not yet. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> I really haven't. I just have the idea. So yeah, so that's one of my favorite things right now. Um, and then my other new start is also a new collaboration. So I was um, emailed by um, wizardeye.com and they are a online cross stitch store, but they mostly source like European um, international designers mm -hmm. and, but they're based in um, um, Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Minnesota. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. Um, so they are, yeah, so they're mostly based in there. That's where the headquarters are. And so they um, reached out and just was curious if I was, was want to check out some of their products and review them. Um, so I was like, sure. <laughs> and they had a few kits that I was really, it's mostly kits that they offer. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, they have some like well-known, they have uh, Wonderland Ukraine, 
They have a Luca S kits, which I know a lot of people are stitching right now. And they're very responsive. The website was really easy to navigate. Um, so I ch chose a couple of kits that they sent me. And this is one that I got from, I don't know how to pronounce all of these things. I'll be completely honest. <laughs> um, but that's the designer of the kit. And it's called a uh, Vacation... Online, they call it a uh, Vacation Memories Tropical Sea. It's not on here, I just realized. But that's what they call it online. Um, I thought it was cute. So I got that. It does come with Ada, which I don't prefer to stitch on. So I changed it to 40 Count Aqua. But I'm using As all of the... I'm using all of the kit stuff, though. Like, all of the floss and stuff. And this is how far I've gotten. And it's been a lot of fun. The pattern is really easy to read. They have, so it has a quite a bit of back stitch in it. So what they did, or at least what this kit has, is one side of the pattern is just the cross stitch. So it's really easy to see the symbols. And then on the back, it's the same thing, but it has all the back stitch on it. So it separates it out. So I can get all the cross stitch in and then go flip around and see all the back stitching, which I wish Dimension would do. That's big, my biggest issue with Dimension is I can't, sometimes you can't even see the symbol because of all the back stitching. So, so yeah, so I'm really enjoying this. It's really pretty. This was just a, you know, a few hours um, going really quickly. Symbols are very easy to tell. So highly recommend, you know, at least this company. I got a couple of other kits that I haven't, dived into that much um one is this yes. ornament on um plastic canvas uh that's in the shape of an ornament i haven't opened it yet but and then this is the other one this is actually a bead kit which i thought was really cute it's all beads um in the shape of this paw my only two issues already and this is one thing that i don't have an answer for and i haven't totally asked them yet every single thing there's no english there's no english <laughs> and it's all that's in... what language we only speak <laughs> and specifically read because that's all in a different language and i understand it came from an international company but i, I don't know Cyrillic. how to i don't know no i think it's ukrainian um that's, i think that's real oh is that what that is yeah. um i just have it i did open this and like it just I might be able to tell from like pictures. Oh wait, that does, that's in English. I didn't open it all the way. Okay, there's one in English. We're doing it live. Sorry, we're doing this live. We're unboxing, because I, I just got this, so I haven't had a chance to fully like. Oh, I opened, I didn't open it up all the way. It's Monday morning live from Suffolk, Virginia. Yeah, with me getting sick. Okay, it does come in English, I take it back. Um, the paw does. I was nervous when I first opened it and didn't see any English, but okay. And I don't know if this comes in English yet because I haven't opened it. So this might as well. Um, I hope it does, but this one at least is just a pattern that, you know, um, I was more concerned about the beaded kit, not knowing because I've never done something like this, but I'm excited to try them out. So you'll see this eventually because I will just, I will start these, yeah. um, and, and do these. So but yeah, I have a link down below if you're interested in checking them out. Um, the woman I was emailing with was very responsive and very nice. And um, I actually did a Facebook or an Instagram story asking if anyone's ever worked with them before mm -hmm. or bought from their website, you know, what their thoughts were. And I had a few people say they they loved it. So, yeah. and haven't had any issues. So, something to consider if you're looking for another source of those kinds of, of those kits. So... Okay, so those are my two starts, and then I've had two whips. Um, Shores of Hawker and Hollow, Carriage House Samplings, but I am changing a ton. Um, so this is the original. And then here's a mock-up of my, uh, <laughs> of my, all of my changes. And this is where we're at. So I was, I've got a lot more done on that second block. I finished the house, got the fence in, the grass, the flowers, and one sailboat. I'd already had the other block done, but I am loving this so much. So I'm gonna bring it in on the second block. Um, actually, you hold this. Yes. 
Hold it right there. Okay, because I'm going to show you the changes or attempt to at least. First and foremost, I changed the color of the M. So I changed it from orange to red. I changed uh, the girl. I changed her dress a little bit more to make it to, I widened it. So it actually looked like a dress because here it just looks like she's wearing a red jumpsuit, which I wanted it to look more like a dress. Um, I changed the color. All the colors are pretty much different. Um, they're not like variegated colors, but I kept the idea the same with the bricks, two blues and a gray. And then the mortar in between, in here it's all dark. I could not find a one that you could actually tell the difference between the shutters and the house. So I changed it to a light gray. I turned one of the lights on. <clears throat> so it looked like, you know, there's a light on in the house. I haven't done any of the back stitching yet. And then this sailboat is here. I flipped the sails around so it looked like a more traditional sailboat. That's just a personal preference thing. I just, I liked that more than this one. And then all of the colors are different. So all I have left on this block is I need to fill in the grass, which is like 600 stitches of one color. Uh, the other, the water, the other sailboat, and then the two white motifs in the sky. So yeah, that's all that's left of this block. And then the back stitch, of course. Um, but that's it for this block. And my goal is to finish this by the end of the year. Um, I wanna finish this block by the end of the year. I'm, oh, I'm already over a third of the way done with this piece, which is oh, really? weird since I'm only oh. two out of six blocks in. I'm really so, excited for this one. I really yeah, like this one. This one's, and it's just so much fun. It's so easy. It's perfect car stitching. I'm going to bring it back so you can kind of see how bright the, it's much brighter. And That's like a more representative of the actual brightness of the colors. So. Yeah. I, I really like a lot of the patterns from this designer. I oh, got yeah. To, I got to see some more of them for the first time when we went to the LNS in Virginia Beach a oh, yeah. few weeks Dying ago. Stitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw some on the wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Caratrop samplings. The Hawk Run Hollow series. Yeah. So, yeah. And then after I finish that block, then I'll be doing the center block, um, which I think is by itself a third of the pattern. So, nice. So yeah, so that's one whip I worked on. That one is staying out for the rest of the year until I finish that second block. And then <clears throat> my last but not least whip that I worked on, I didn't get a ton done on this, but I did mm -hmm. work on it. Um, this is Long Dog Samplers, one down, three across. This is the uh, original pattern. It's all in white on blue fabric. <clears throat> Again, I'm changing basically everything. And I'm doing it on 32 count raw silver. <laughs> And I'm changing, I'm doing it one over one on 32 count. And the only parts that are going to be white are the um, outlines of the letters and the in-between parts. Other than that, the words are going to be red and green. Oh, here's a, my mock, the mock-up of what I'm doing. <coughs> my, uh, my changes. And so I started in the center. And so I have the F done in friends. And you can kind of see that's, oh yeah, that's the green etoile. $6.99 that I'm doing that. So you can see the sparkle. And then all those teeny tiny stitches. It's been a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy this. So gonna hopefully get some more work done on this this year. Uh, but yeah, this is even on one over one, it's gonna be big. <laughs> <coughs> Buckle up. Buckle up. So yeah, that's what I worked on. I just worked on that just one day for a little while. So so those are all of my stitching. Mm -hmm. I do have um, a little bit of haul and plans, and then um, I'll announce the giveaway winners from my previous video for my 6,000K. Um, thank you so much to everyone who commented and uh, entered the giveaway. It was a lot of fun. So my first piece of haul slash plans is kind of a little bit of both. Um, Laura from Stitching by the Shore, she is starting Fish and Ships by Long Dog Samplers on January 1st, her new year, new start. This is what it'll look like, um, the mock-up of it. And she, on one of her videos, she showed, well, she shows, I mean, a lot of fabulous fabrics, but one of her favorite dyers is Those Missing Stitches on Etsy. And she showed one of the fabrics she got from her on, and she only stitches on 18 count Ada. So on 18 count Ada, the color was gorgeous 
And I was like, oh my gosh. And I didn't have fabric picked out yet for fish and ship. And I was like, well, let me go look, you know, and see what she does. She dyes all the way up to 46 count linen. Mm -hmm. And it's a huge pattern and it's, it's a long dog. So I was like, 46 count, I think would be great because it would be small, uh, smaller and it would be more reasonable to like frame one day, yeah. you know, um, on 46 count. We so, also had a lot of big pieces yeah, right now. And we do. We need on, some smaller pieces. We do. So I, and it was still, it'd be small, but it would be smaller than mm -hmm. if I did it, you know, cause it's like 200 and something by 180, like it's big. So I, um, so I ordered from her, came really quickly mm -hmm. and the piece of fabric was very pretty. It is not what I ordered. Um, it was not, it just did, it wasn't, it didn't look like the picture. Yeah. So I messaged her and was like, hey, you know, just for the future reference, 46 count, is this typical where it'll be this different than what the mock-up? Because I think she probably dyed it on for the cover photo. I think she dyed it for like, on like 32 count or something. And every piece of, every different size fabric does dye differently. That's yeah. very important to know. And of course, screens and everything will look different. So you run a risk ordering fabric no matter what. But so I reached out and was just like, just so I know for future reference, if I order 46 count, is it gonna look this different? And she's like, can you send me a picture? And I did, she's like, I don't know what happened. That is not representative of my work, you know, so. I was she, also part of that because I received the fabric when <laughs> Megan was out of town and she was like, send me pictures. What does it look like? And I was like, oh, it looks great. Yeah, like, it looks fantastic. Cause I don't know what to yeah, look you didn't for know in dyed for. fabric, so. So I, and again, it, it was still very pretty and it just wasn't what I was looking for. And mm -hmm. the biggest thing about 46 I've learned and she taught me, mm -hmm. it washes out a lot of the dye a lot more than other fabrics. So the, the biggest issue about it was that there were splotches of just like straight white modeling. Mm -hmm. And this fab, this piece is going to be 100% white stitching. Yeah. So that's not going to work, you know? And so that was why it wasn't going to work for this project. And I bought it specifically for this project. Um, I was willing, I mean, I was willing to keep it. I was going to figure it out, you know, but I just wanted to reach out to her and just find out, you know, before I order more 46 mm -hmm. count. And she said, yes, it does wash out more of the dye. So you're going to have starker modeling and you're going to have patches of just straight white. Yeah. She's like, but also that color doesn't look right. So she... On her own, she went ahead and dyed both a 40 count and another piece of 46 count. Yeah, she did her own quality control She did, yeah. And she sent <laughs> Megan and I the results of the it. The pictures, and she's <laughs> yeah. like, this is what it should look like, you know. And so what she did, she then sent me both pieces of those fabrics. She said, choose which one you like. Of the three, mm -hmm. which one you want to keep. I'll send you an envelope and a return label. Just send back what you don't want. And she did that completely. She never charged me another shipping. She, I mean, she yeah, was, it was really cool. It was she really a cool lot of her. trust. It was mm -hmm. incredible. And I got here really quickly yet again. So yeah. bottom line, what I ended up going, I did end up keeping the 40 count piece of fabric that she sent. Cause again, the 46 count, while the color was more representative, it still had a lot of white modeling on it. Mm -hmm. Um, so I didn't keep those. Uh, cause again, I'm doing a, a completely white piece of a completely white yeah. monochromatic piece. So this is the piece I did end up keeping and it's gorgeous. And mm -hmm. I highly recommend those missing stitches on Etsy. She, her customer service is above and beyond. She's very fast. Her prices are reasonable. And she implements scientific method. She does, she does business, experiments. Which, which we can endorse wholeheartedly. <laughs> this is the piece of fabric that I ended up keeping. Yeah. It's a little bit greener than it's showing up on camera. It's gonna be hard to, to get the true color. It's a little bit more like aqua. Like, it's not quite a teal blue, yeah. but it's gorgeous and I love it. And so this is what I'll be doing it on. And I actually did test out, you probably even already see some white. I chose kind of a very white area of the piece um, and the white does show up on it. So that was another thing that I tested to see. And that, I think that will show up really well. I'm actually gonna stitch this side of the fabric which has more of the blue, darker mm -hmm. blue modeling. So this is where I'll actually stitch it. Um, but even the white does even show up on the lighter parts. Yeah. So compelling conscious, those missing stitches on Etsy, highly recommend. I will be yeah. ordering from her again in the future. She doesn't have like a crazy amount of colors available right now, but I think she's adding more a lot, so. And if you're watching this video, please send us more experiments as you do. <laughs> 46 count, I think is one that I wish I want to like, so 
my beach piece right here, that's all for, that's on 46 count. And I really enjoyed stitching on 46 count, but that's a neutral platinum, mm -hmm. not hand dyed. So I have not actually experienced hand dyed 46 count before. This was my first time. So now I know like if I want a starker modeling, then go for it, but maybe sticking to more neutrals for 46 count. Yeah. So again, maybe that's better. Yeah, that is. That's better. You can see a little bit more of the green. Yeah. Right next to the white. Yeah. So that's better color representation. So yeah, so I'm super excited about it. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and again, there's the white on it. That's just like 15 stitches on it. So, so that's gonna be one of my plans uh, for January 1st is starting that. And then um, on uh, yesterday, actually I haven't even told you about this yet. Um, when we were grocery shopping, I you were looking, what were you, you were looking for something. And so I just saw, I had like notifications for Facebook. And so I looked at it and Carolyn Zook of C Zook Stitch had commented or had posted in Grand Stitchery's Facebook page. She posted a picture of a stocking that she was going to be starting yeah, for December 1st. I was going to say, I don't think I've seen this yet. <laughs> she was started, she posted a picture and she's like, okay, I finally figured out what I'm going to start on December 1st for my stocking. And it is my absolute favorite and it's the one I already had. And I commented, I was like, oh, I love that one. That one's my absolute favorite. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I can't wait to see you stitch it or something like that. And she was like, well, have you started it yet? Because if not, you should start it with me. And I was like, I haven't started it yet. So why not? <laughs> so on December 1st, Carolyn Zuck and now I will be starting. I haven't even, I've not even opened this yet since I bought it. I bought it over a year ago. I haven't opened it. Um, Did you really? Yeah, I bought this a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, but, so I just bought, I just pulled it out of the closet. Oh. So I, no, I didn't just go buy it. Um, <laughs> I commented on it yesterday. <laughs> um, is this uh, stocking from Dimensions Gold Collection. It has been my absolute favorite stocking. I'm trying to do it out of the glare. Oh, you can see Tiki in the glare though. Um, oh there, that's probably a little bit better. And so I just have loved it. I, it's it, in the kit is 16 count blue Ada. And I think I'm going to actually use the kit Ada. Um, because I at least will know it's the right size. And I just really like the look of it in the picture, which is a real stitched. It looks like that's actually stitched. That doesn't look like just a mock-up. So, yeah. and I really like it in the picture. So I think I'm going to use everything in the kit. Um, I also don't have fabric that would work for this right now. And so if I tried to buy it, I wouldn't be able to start on December 1st. So worst case, if I don't like it, I'll change it, but I'm at least gonna start off with this. And I'm glad it's 16 count and not 14 count because I, I wouldn't use it if it was 14 count. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Carolyn Zuck, Zizuk Stitch and I, and then potentially others I haven't seen. Um, we'll be starting this on December 1st. And then other pieces of haul, one other piece. I did get my Color and Cotton Fabric of the Month. Um, I'm only showing you the 40 count because I, I forgot to grab the 32 count. But also yeah. I will be, I have a ton of fabric on my D stash right now that has yeah. been unclaimed. And the 32 count is about to go up there because I just, I'm actually going to cancel my 32 count subscription. I'm just not stitching on 32 count anymore. 40 count is really just my... 40 count and above is just really my preference at this point. I like one hand mm -hmm. I, or I like one strand and then I can do two hand stitching with my stand. Like it's really yeah. 40 count and above has really become my, my go-to. So keep an eye on my D stash. Um, I'll post the Instagram now. It's we just need more closet space. So. <laughs> well, I'm going to be, I'm going to be D stashing a lot of my 32 count. Like is really what it comes down to a lot of color and cotton. Um, a lot of just random stuff. I'm going to keep some of it cause I think there is some things on there like for ornaments that'll be really good for 32 count. So I'm not deception everything, mm -hmm. but there's some colors on there that I'm like, I don't think I'm ever going to use that. Yeah. Just, and if I am, I'll rebuy it one day, you know, yeah. like, or I'll have, you know, worst case, but this is, uh, the, this is the fabric of the month for 40 count this month. It's called a margarita, just appropriate. Um, <clears throat> So the 32 count of this will be on my D stash here shortly. So, um, and then I think that's it besides the giveaways. Make sure. Yes, my other plans are gonna be, I have, I do have plans for December cause another goal of mine for the end of the year is I do wanna have touched, stitched on 
every single one of my whips before the end of the year, even if it's for mm -hmm. five minutes. Like, I just want to say that I've stitched on all of my whips because there are whips that, like, this year, like Beach Quaker, not Beach Quaker, uh, Beach Comer, yeah. I had not touched in three years before this year. Like, I don't, I I'll, every year I at least want to have gotten like. Yeah, I thought like, that one was done. <laughs> <laughs> Case in point. So yeah. I want to stitch. So there are about five or six projects that I have not touched yet this year still. And I am also UFOing a few projects, but I'm going to go through all of that. And um, I'm going to do a few videos for Flossmas this year. So I'm going to do um, obviously a whip parade uh, at some point in December. I'm going to go over my, um, my 2024 plans mm -hmm. and um kind of go over like where the stitching I'm going to be doing in December. Cause I'm going to be touching a lot of things in December. Um, so yeah, so I'll have a few videos out in December. If there's anything that you're interested in, um, that you like to see during Flossmas and whatnot, you know, let me know. Um, cause I will have December is a weird month for us. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, every year. June, yeah. June but December, especially like... this year because December is my research month. Mm -hmm. So, I technically don't have to go anywhere. Like I'm done with hospital clinic work for the year, which is mm -hmm. weird. Um, I do have to write a research paper, um, but, and I do have a lot of interviews in December that are going to take up my mornings. So I have time and I don't have time. It's going to be weird. Cause we're also gonna be packing you up. We have some yeah. traveling that we're doing. So yeah, it's just, but I think I'm going to have still have time to like do videos. So if you have anything you're interested in seeing, let me know. Um, yeah, I think those are my biggest plans right now. And then, and I will be back, you know, I'll probably be back in a couple of weeks because I plan on stitching a lot over the next couple of weeks. I need to make some stitching goals for 2024. You do. The dino blanket has consumed it has. You know, most of my stitching, so. Yep, you need to, you need to think about what you're going to. Yeah. Goals for next year. You are going to be at dive school for six months of that, but. Good decompression. Yeah. Ha. It's anyway. a dive joke. You have deep <laughs> impression right. time. Giveaways. So I had six giveaways on my last video. And so mm -hmm. I'm going to go through the winners of that. Please reach out to me. Email me at georgiagirlstitching at gmail.com. It's listed down below in the description box. Um, you have until my next video, which I'm going to say, I'm going to say I'm going to do a video. We're in Williamsburg the first weekend of December. Um, and baby shower. I can do it during the week though. Yeah. Whoa, a whole new world. What's the middle of that week? Middle of, between December 2nd and December 9th, I will be doing a video. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so if I haven't heard from you by then, I'm gonna call you out again. And if I haven't heard from you by the next video, I'm gonna call someone new. Um, so that's the, so just email me your address and mm -hmm. what, you, yeah. And what you're, if you're floss to, so there's some names on here that are not actually your name. So if you email me, let me know what you want or what your what your name is. Um, so the first one was Fine Wine, which is the printed version of my Fine Wine pattern. And Julie R. Stitches won this one. Julie R. Stitches. So Julie, if you'll email me. Number two was Bank Creek Black Kitty. And this was E-R-J-A, Urja. So if Urja, if you'll, um, I don't know if that's your name or not. So when you email me, let me know what your actual name is. Then number three, Country Cottage, um, Day at the Beach. This was Darth Vader won this one. So <laughs> Darth Vader. No. <laughs> Darth Vader, if you would email me with your name and address, that'd be great. I'll get that out to you. The Trilogy Blossoms. This is Teresa Chuckle. Could be a real name. That could be a real name. Teresa Chuckle. <laughs> um, if it is, great real name. <laughs> uh, Cinnamon Hearts Needleworks. This was Sharon Williams. Definitely a real name. Definitely a real name. Hi, Sharon. Um, feel <laughs> please uh, email me. And then number six was... Tamara Pierce, uh, you want a PDF of your choice from my Gumroad. So if you'll email, email me which one you would like, and then I'll email that back to you. Thank you everyone who commented and, you know, said really nice things yeah. and have always been very supportive of my channel. I really appreciate all of you. And 
I think that's it. Yeah. Any final words? We love you guys. Yes. Thank <laughs> you for it. all the oh, support. Kaya, where's Kaya? Oh, okay. she's finally asleep. We're okay. enjoying <laughs> post breakfast nap time. <laughs> Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Kaya. Sweetie. Hi, baby. Come here. We always. Oh, wait, and then here's Tanky. We always need to put her in her little nest. Hi, say hi, Tanky. Tanky boy. Okay, let me get Kaya. Are you going to get Kaya? Yeah. She's gotten so big, but also not like crazy big. So we, we crossed five months. We're almost six months old. Hi, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Who's the sweetest puppy? I am. <laughs> yes, we are. We are the sweetest girl. So this is Kaya. She turned six months and a week and a half, I guess. Yeah. Um, Six, yeah, six months. Yeah. yeah. We're going to Ocean City for Thanksgiving, which we're super excited about. Yay. And then uh, the keys for Christmas. So she's got some big traveling. Yeah. Traveling her way. Right, baby? And the baby shower. And the baby shower yeah. in South Carolina. Yeah, oh, we've got a lot of traveling coming up. So my parents are coming up the first weekend of December, which we're excited about. Um, and yeah. So a lot going on. Um. Yeah, see oh, you in I, a few weeks. I know, sweetie. Go back to sleep. <laughs> We're going to let her go back to sleep yeah. now. Thank you guys for everything, and happy stitching. Bye. Bye.